Okay, so James Nanali talking to Sport Club uh, before the start of the Euroleague season. Uh, James, uh, you, you've had an interesting offseason, decided to stay in Partizan Belgrade to renew the contract uh, and uh, undoubtedly made the Partizan fans very happy when, uh, when you have in mind what happened in the finish of last season. Uh, the finish of last season, we won the championship. I got on the first thing smoking back to the States. Had a great summer with my family. Um, trained a lot, relaxed a lot. Um, um, decided to come back. Um, you know, I'm happy about my decision. It was, um, I kind of had it in my mind um, where I wanted to go uh, or, you know, what I wanted to be a part of. And um, I had three other Euroleague teams and you know, another team somewhere else, but I, I decided to stay here. I was like, well, why leave something that was good, you know, go back and defend the championship and um, try to get further in Euroleague. Um, you know, it made my decision good. It was like, we just had like a, a good group of guys. Like everybody, you know, got along. You know, we were like, we we're like a, a family. Like, you know, we did a lot of things together. Everybody hung out, dinners, you know, just good vibes. People, uh, good vibes, you know, with the guys. Like, so that was, a, that was a big part of my decision. Right, so you mentioned a good, good group of guys. So uh, did it play a, a significant role that also Kevin and Zach and Alex decided to extend their contracts with, uh, with Partizan along with other guys, obviously? Yeah, that was, you know, that was a... Uh, it was good to see like them coming back. Uh, you know, we had been in, talking about new contract before the, like this, the end of the season last year. So, um, you know, that that kind of played a part in the decision too. You know, you know, you're coming back to play with a good group of guys and um, guys who are experienced and, and know how to play basketball. So, like when you're playing with like good good players around you, it makes your job easier. So, that uh, definitely definitely was a plus in my decision. You, you mentioned that you practiced a lot during the summer, but you also relaxed. Uh, so since you are the oldest player of Partizan, but Whoa. still... <laughs> Next question. Okay, so how much time now uh, do, you, do you dedicate to, uh, to health, to, to your physical condition, right? That... That's, my, that's, that's what I do. I, um, I take care of my body like no other. I'm in the I'm in the best shape of my life. Um, age doesn't mean anything, and 33 is not old anyway. So, for anyone who thinks that's old, it's not. Uh, I know a 40 year old David Logan in Italy last year at 35, so scoring 20 multiple games. Like he takes care of his body. You know, I know guys like that. I you know I look at it as, as examples. You know. Um, just to keep going, you know, I because I know I take care of my body better than anybody. So I recover, I, I work hard, but I, I really take recovery serious. And um, I do all the necessary things to, to stay in shape and keep going. Would you say that's the reason why you've been playing so great in the finish of the season when maybe some other players all, like fall down with the, with the, their physical condition that, that this is the time when you play your best? I mean, I think that takes a, I think that's a part of it, but also it's a part of like your mentality. You know, people, it's end of the season starts, everybody's ready to go home. Like, nah, we came here to, for, we came here for a mission. And that mission is to win, so you gotta, gotta finish through. And thank God my body, you know, um, you know, held, held together and, you know, I was able to finish healthy. So that's always a big, you know, a big blessing to finish the season healthy. Um, but it, does, it is an attribute that I do take care of myself. Like, I really do. Uh, you've become famous for making huge shots for Partizan and very popular among the fans because of that. So what do you say is it, uh, uh, like when it comes to these shots late in the game, what is the key thing? Is it your mental condition or is it, uh, uh, or is it basically following the right play? I think it comes down to a lot of things, but I think for me, for me it's like the confidence in myself that I have, you know, like, I've uh, I practiced so so many hours, 
so many days, like, you know, like these shots are just routine. Like, I'm in rhythm. These shots I've been practicing on my own, in practice, in games I've taken. So just knock it down. That's my thing. Like, if I get the shot, I'm going to make it. That's how I feel about every shot I take. I know it's going in. And if, it, if this one doesn't go in, the next one is. So this is my mentality. I'm built for this. How much does, did it motivate you when uh, maybe the last season didn't start so well and then there were some critics, uh, uh, you know, doubting the, the capabilities of Partizan? How much did it motivate you and the rest of the team to, to turn things around and, and perform much better in the, in the following period and I mean, get more wins? I mean, we had a new team, so like, and there was like a couple guys first year in EuroLeague and um, so we knew that there was going to be a struggle, you know, to to get to get right and play with the right, you know, play the right way with each other. And um, it's just like the critics are always going to be there. Like critics, they're always going to be there. And it's usually people who've never touched the basketball who are critics, who can't even make a layup. I think my eight-year-old daughter will probably beat these critics that we speak of. Um, so you can't take them serious. Like. They don't know any better. They just know. They just know to talk. That's all they know. Talk, no action. But critics, you don't worry about them. You just keep doing what you know. What you do, and uh, good things will happen. And, and good things happen with our team. You know, we. I, um, when times got rough, and so that's like a tribute to all the guys. You know, character. You know. Um, you know, guys, we do that. You know, like Jan Madar, Matthias Azor, uh, Yanni Papapetu, even uh, Brody, who was here for a short time. You know, Jole, guys who, you know, who weren't really playing a lot, you know, um, and guys who were playing and contributing. Like, those guys had, had big character, you know, so we're going to miss them. But, uh, you know, hopefully uh, the guys who are here now will step up and, you know, fill those roles, which I believe they can. Um, uh, but that team that we had last year is special. A lot of guys with great kids. And you have two, two players coming from the NBA, haven't had European basketball experience. Uh, so are you maybe one of the players who like teaches them or you don't need to teach, but gives them advice when it comes to differences between the game in the U.S. and overseas? Uh, I mean, Frank and PJ are, are two hell of basketball players, so they know how to play basketball. The, the adjustment here will be, you know, it'll, it'll be a little learning curve, but I think they pick up on things really uh, fairly quickly. And um, if they have any questions or I see something that you know, that's them, I'll say it. But other than that, I just let them learn on their own because uh, everybody's different. But I think they'll be, I think they'll fit in perfectly. Last season, you again shot 50, 40, 90, almost, and uh, so... Uh, 89 point what? <laughs> yeah, right, but, uh, but, but basically, yeah, that's, that's yeah. the club. So, uh, so what, what would you say, and basically that's been your, your percentages throughout your EuroLeague career, uh, when it comes to different teams, different coaches, different systems. So when it comes to shooting, what is the, the key thing that you would maybe advise somebody younger who, who would like to be on such a consistent level? I mean... I feel like that doesn't get talked about enough. Uh, 50, 40, 90. It's really difficult to do. Not many players can do it. Uh, I'm grateful that I'm one of them, but I know that's where I should be every year. Um, um, for the young players, I would just say try to be as efficient as you can. You know, like just taking good shots. That's what helps get me there. Um, Everything's not going to be perfect, but you can be efficient and just study the game, learn which shots are good, which shots are your shots, and, you know, study where you're going to get shots from because that's what helps. That's what helps me as well. So just try to be efficient. That's the, that's the goal. Okay. And also you mentioned when it comes to younger guys, uh, 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 taking quality shots, taking, yeah. uh, taking good shots. Uh, do you spend uh, uh, more time, you, you would say, maybe than some younger player watching the video and analyzing your game and the game of your next uh, opponent? Uh, yeah, video is a big thing for me. Um, I learn I learned a lot through watching. Uh, I pick up things, different habits and different ways to try to get open, try to get better shots. And, if I took a bad shot the previous game, I have to see it. I know, to, like, I'm crazy about watching video. So I, I know plays from last year. I know like every a lot. I know a lot about like previous games and other teams. 
in the video. Okay, you mentioned it. Can you maybe single out uh, a play from last year that like that you really remember that you that comes to your mind first when you think about last season? So what is one of the plays that comes to your mind first that made the longest lasting impression? The longest lasting impression? I would say I would say the, uh, <laughs> the split, the shot against split. That was like like the play wasn't even like really. I mean, you could say it was for me. The play was for me, but I didn't think I was gonna get the ball at all. And I, and when I got the ball, I just remember the guy was just right on my hip. So I took one dribble over and let it go. And uh, I, I knew it was in once I, once I released it. The follow through was crazy. My feet were in different, different directions, but I knew it was, I knew the shot was in. What, what about a play from uh, FS game here in Belgrade, the one that turned the season around? Oh man, <laughs> I don't even know if it turned the season around, man. We just had to, we just, I, we just knew we had to win that game. Um, um, I remember that. I got a switch on Dunstan, and I just walked him into it. Just walked him down. Boom, knocked it. <laughs> that was routine. That was routine. Uh, that was that was cool. Yeah. Who would you say are maybe three shooters in your league today that that maybe you would single out as so it doesn't have to be your teammates. You can choose them obviously, but three shooters that you that, you, that come to your mind as, as great shooters of your league. Nobody. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you.